After World War II, communism became the bugaboo and the Soviet Union became the enemy. And even though, and one of the things the CIA did right after World War II was hire a lot of Nazis. Guys who'd been, who'd been Nazis were now recycled and, and brought into the CIA. Uh, uh, the rocket, Nazi rocket scientist uh, von Braun went to work for the United States devel developing intercontinental ballistic missiles. So uh, the, past, the Nazi past was forgiven and Nazis went to work for the United States, including a guy named Reinhard Gellin, who had been the Nazi intelligence, military intelligence officer in charge of operations against the Soviets in uh, Eastern Europe. And this guy, Gellin, became the head of the, uh, the CIA's main intelligence operator into um, East Berlin and, and areas like the Ukraine, where he had, where the Nazis had intelligence agents uh, during World War II. And this guy, Reinhard Gellin, on behalf of his uh, new CIA masters, just activated all the agent nets that he had during World War II. The same thing was going on in Ukraine, although the Ukraine had very much um, a large swaths of its population were fascists and were actively involved against the war against the Soviets um, and uh, uh, were enemies of the United States in World War II. After World War II, they became assets of the CIA. So the CIA has been developing fascist assets in the Ukraine for 70 years. And every year since 1948, when the CIA was, went into operation, it has a, had a station in the Ukraine with a CIA officer who's running operations. And those operations have all been directed against first the Soviet Union and after the collapse of the Soviet Union against Russia. There's a lot of momentum that has built up over 75 years vast agent nets have been put in place. Sleeper agents have been in place for decades and they're all working against Russia, which is why nowadays it's so hard for the mainstream media and the government to shift and, 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 and even consider for a moment having good relations with, with Russia. Uh, NATO, the whole, its whole mandate and its whole ex reason for its existence has been to uh, threaten and roll back Russia and eventually sabotage and subversion, subvert it and put it out of business. And Ukraine, the CIA's operations in the Ukraine are the cutting edge vanguard of this effort. So if you look at recent events in Ukraine, you have to see them in that context. How for decades the CIA has been trying to recruit Ukrainian politicians Ukrainian businessmen who are sympathetic and compatible with Western American ideas and values and, and interests of being of fighting against the Russians and recruiting them and putting them in place and um, uh, setting them up with bank accounts, giving them paramilitary training. Everything the CIA does across the board, the Ukraine has been the vanguard of this operation against Russia. The details are in my book the CIA's organized crime, how this works at the, ver at the, at the agent level, how, it, how the CIA would go around and work with, uh, after the coup that threw out a pro-Russian government and installed a pro-American anti-Russian government, how the CIA already had, had security services and military people in place who were able to create private militias that would then work against individuals in the Ukraine who were pro-Russian, how they, you know, it, just like treating it like South Vietnam or any other country that the United States occupies. And that is the situation in the Ukraine. The United States occupies Ukraine. Its government is an, the, an occupation government that's supported and funded and directed by the United States. And, to the, and the businessmen and the military people and the politicians that support the Americans benefit and those who don't are put on hit lists and they're targeted. And, and that's basically
the history and the summary of what's going on in the Ukraine. And the, the CIA, through its agent operations, which have been in place for 70 years, is at the vanguard of that, of that uh, operation. So is the intent and purpose of the CIA and American involvement in Ukraine to topple Russia, to balkanize Russia? Oh, absolutely, but also to steal Ukraine's, to take a, all the, 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 the natural resources that are available there, um, the profits that, that, are, that can be had. I mean, it's, it's capitalism. Um, it's, you know, nationalism, American nationalists who, businessmen, I mean, as soon as the, the CIA arranged that coup and installed a pro-American government, Joe Biden's son became the head of one of the biggest uh, oil companies, I think it was, in the Ukraine. You know, I mean, American businessmen just swooped down like vultures to take over all the, you know, any business that could, the, 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 like mafia um, dons and mafia, you know, gangsters that they could steal everything from. And, and that's exactly what they're doing. And especially in eastern Ukraine, where a lot of the natural resource industries are based, that's why it's so contentious there. The, the CIA, through its assets in private industry, is, is, is trying to bring all those people, all those people who are considered compatible into the American fold. You don't see it at its dirty level, the level of blackmailing people, the, le the level of extorting people, the level of the CIA, CIA using its underworld contacts to squeeze these people and to force them out of business and to, and to make life miserable for them so that they give up their, their associations with Russians and uh, Russian businessmen. But that's what's going on at the very basic level. I mean, militias are being formed to terrorize anybody who's supporting Russia. And, and uh, you know, like in Donbass and places like that. So uh, the details, again, which you would have to spend years studying to understand, uh, you know, I suggest you just read the books to, to see how the, the CIA has relationships with the security services in Ukraine. And as soon as the coup was launched, it took over control of those security services. And it started drawing up the hit lists that of targeting people that it could go after. And the reason it's targeting the, the people it target, targets most highly are the people that are sitting on natural resources that American businessmen want. It's not going after you know, plumbers and carpenters, it's going after major businessmen. And that's what the CIA does. It's, it paves the way for American business interests by using illegal methods and by using illegal methods to install politicians in the Ukraine that will follow the American line. Things that, everything that you don't know about that is going on and that you're not told about by the media which I should add is well aware of what's going on, but just doesn't tell you because it's good for their business too. <laughs>